this is gonna be a book haul and these are books that I got this past year in 2019 I haven't filmed a book haul since 2015 so it's been a long time and I've bought I, not a lot of books like I used to buy but a good amount of books since then and I've also donated a good amount of books because I've been doing this thing where I read it I think I talked about it on my channel so maybe I started this thing in 2014 or 15 but as I would buy books and then read it then if I didn't think I would be reading it again in the future or I didn't like it then I just donated it so that way my shelves stay decluttered and I only keep my all-time favorites so let's just start these first two books I got when I was in the Netherlands this is my fourth time going I went this past January with my husband it was his first time and it was my first time going in the Anne Frank house I thought that we would do it since it was his first time and I'm um, not sure if we'll have time to be going again in the future so I definitely recommend going there if you're going to Amsterdam I see a lot of people go to Amsterdam myself included I've been twice I stay in a different part of the Netherlands but I've been to Amsterdam twice before this past time that I went and I never went to the Anne Frank house so I'm just going to show you what I got there at the gift shop this one is Anne Frank's Tales from the Secret Annex did not I didn't even know this existed this is short stories and essays that she wrote and um, some of them were actually on display there so I'm really excited to read her other stories and her other essays that she's written. So the next one is Anne Frank, The Biography by Melissa Mueller. And I'm really excited for this one. I actually haven't seen it before and I didn't even know it existed. So I'm excited to read more about Anne Frank. Oh, my stack of books is about to fall. So the next book I have is, um, I think it's pronounced Gyo or Gyo, but it's kind of like a horror manga. And I found out about the artist from Free Comic Book Day, I think like in 2017. So I'm excited to read this. I think my friend Destiny got me this. Uh, she also has a YouTube channel actually. So if you wanna check out her channel, she vlogs a lot just about her life and stuff. So if you wanna check her out, I will link her channel down below. But um, I'm excited to get into this. I think I'll be reading it soon because it's really short. And then I think this was actually a Christmas gift. So maybe all these aren't from 2019, but um, who got me this? Oh, Keisha got me this from the Forsaken 707. I will link her channel below. She's one of like the first friends I made here on YouTube and actually we're in real life friends because shortly after that we met in person. And this is Becoming by Michelle Obama. You guys know all about this. It's about Michelle Obama. And I'm hoping to read this this year as well. So the next one I have here is Killers of a Flower Moon by David Graham. I pre-ordered this, I think, and I was so excited for it because... Where is it? Oh, here it is. I read this in 2013, I think, The Lost City of Z and i loved it so much you can see all my tabs so i immediately pre-ordered his new book so i'm really excited to read this if you've read this let me know so this next book i found out from a youtuber her channel is i don't remember but i will link her channel below you guys should check it out because she has a lot of good recommendations and i think she said this was one of her favorite books of the year so far and I ordered it. So this is The Perfect Predator, a scientist race to save her husband from a deadly superbug. I guess this, like, I guess this guy catches a superbug while he's on vacation with his wife, I want to say. I think his wife is, like, he's a psychologist and she is, is she a scientist or something? Oh, she's an epidemiologist. So... I think she really plays a part in finding out what is wrong with him. I'm really excited to read this because it's a memoir. So if you've heard about this or if you've read it, let me know. And these next ones are actually Christmas books too. I forgot. But it's Star Wars The Han Solo Trilogy and it's the Barnes and Noble edition. And 
Also, the Star Wars Trilogy. I'm just gonna show these real quick because they're just Barnes and Noble's edition. And then Dracula. My husband got me all three of these for Christmas, so who knows when I'll read them, but I will definitely read them in the future. The other book my husband got me for Christmas was Sea Prayer by Khaled Husseini. I was so excited to own this, even though it's not that long, but it's signed. I have another signed book by him because I actually met him at BEA when I went, which I will maybe link the video down below if you haven't seen that video. It's from like 2013, but I went with a bunch of other booktubers and yeah, I met him and he signed my copy of And the Mountains Echo. But this one is really, really nice. It's like watercolors. But yeah, this one's really short and if you have kids maybe that are trying to understand um, re refugees and the kind of situation they're put in, then this would be a good one to read to them. These next two books I've already read. It's The River at Night. And this one I'm actually debating donating. So, I I mean, like Ruth Ware blurbed it, so it's it wasn't that bad. It was like a really quick read. And I honestly couldn't even tell you what it was about anymore. Oh, a girl's trip goes wrong, basically. So, yeah, if you want to check it out, it'd probably be better if you got it at the library. So this next book I bought, my library didn't have, which I'm really surprised about, and it's if Beale Street Could Talk by James Baldwin. And this was my in real life book club pick for May or June, I think it was. And yeah, I liked it. I gave it three stars, I think. And maybe I think I would reread it in the future. So I really think I'm gonna keep this one. I saw the movie and it was kind of like a slow burner like this book was. This was kind of like a slow, really like, emotional read. The next book I got was Just Mercy by Brian Stevenson. This was my in real life book for May then. I think this was the May read. Really, really love this one. Definitely recommend it. So this is definitely important to read nowadays. If you want to check this out, you'll learn a lot and you'd be surprised how behind in times Alabama has been these past few years. These next two my husband got me. Um, we went to the thrift store and I spotted these two. This is Half Broke Horses by Jeanette Wall. She's the author of The Glass Castle which I read a couple months ago I think it was and I'm really really excited to read this one. I really enjoyed The Glass Castle. So I can't wait to read this one. This next one is The Marriage of Opposites by Alice Hoffman. I don't know much about this one, but I read Practical Magic and The Rules of Magic, which is kind of like a prequel to Practical Magic. It was so good. I loved The Rules of Magic. I gave it five stars and I think it made it to my favorites of all time. So I'm really interested to see what else she has written and this one seemed really interesting. So I think that's all I'm gonna haul for today. I have a lot of other books here, but this video seems like it's getting really long. So if you wanna talk about any of the books down below, comment down below and we can talk down there. Or if you've read any of these and you wanna let me know what you thought of them, let me know down below. I will see you guys later in the next video.